In a real rescue, defibrillation can be as easy as one, two, three. But analyzing the heart and delivering a shock is only half the battle. The other half is CPR. Zoll's real CPR help can make a real difference in a real rescue because even when a shock has been delivered, CPR can be critical to the success of the rescue. New 2005 guidelines have called for much more emphasis on CPR, especially chest compressions. Why? Because the organ in our body that needs blood the most is the heart itself. Once in trouble, a heart tends to stay in trouble unless its own muscles can get some blood. But how can a stopped heart supply itself with blood? It can't, unless and until rescuers begin CPR. Every AED records data like the ECG shown here, along with the prompts given during the rescue. But only an AED with Zoll's real CPR help can record the rate and depth of every chest compression during CPR. Let's review an AED plus data file taken from a real rescue. Until now, no one has ever been able to see what you will see here, a complete record of the CPR performed in a real rescue, synchronized with the victim's ECG. The victim, a 60-year-old woman, collapsed in a public place. The first heart analysis revealed classic ventricular fibrillation in progress. A shock was advised. Once prompted to press the shock button, the rescuers hesitated. The heart continued fibrillating. The AED Plus told them a second time to press the shock button. Then the shock was delivered. Immediately, the rhythm flattened out and began trying to organize. This rescue helps show why the new guidelines now call for a single shock and not a stack of three. This victim's heart had stopped fibrillating, was struggling and needed oxygen-rich blood. If only the rescuers would begin compressions. Why didn't they begin compressions immediately? Let's roll the tape again, starting with the shock. The rescuers performed no compressions because the AED Plus conformed to the old 2000 guidelines and was saying not to touch the patient as the second heart analysis continued. Then, it prompted the rescuers to clear the airway, check breathing and circulation. All of these prompts are now deleted by the new 2005 guidelines, which call for starting CPR as quickly as possible after delivering a shock. Finally, the CPR compression interval began where the tape turns yellow. The heart rhythm was now almost completely flat. Compressions did not begin immediately. Then, two were given. The heart continued struggling to present an organized rhythm. Then, compressions began. But they were not deep enough. The AED Plus prompted the rescuers to push harder. The heart rhythm immediately got stronger and began to show more regularity and organization. As time passed, however, the rhythm lost its organized character and the heart began again to fibrillate. But the compressions continued deep and fast. Because good CPR compressions were delivered to this victim, blood continued flowing to the brain and the muscles of the heart, even though fibrillation continued. A fibrillating heart like this one is still in trouble, but because it's receiving blood from CPR, it is very likely to be successfully shocked on the next analysis. And indeed, the next analysis found the rhythm was again shockable. And a second shock was delivered. Again, the heart rhythm flattened and soon began trying to organize. Then deep compressions began again and the rhythm got stronger. Eventually, after three shocks, this victim regained consciousness with a shallow, irregular heartbeat. And on the fourth analysis, no shock was advised. 19 minutes after turning on the AED Plus, paramedics arrived. The victim was taken to the hospital and survived to discharge. Next, we'll review a data file from another rescue where a man in his early 60s collapsed at work. 
The very first recording of the heart rhythm shows that the heart was experiencing strong ventricular fibrillation. With the first analysis, a shock was advised and was delivered a few seconds later. This first shock caused the heart to cease fibrillating, giving a few signs of electrical activity. As the seconds ticked by, the heart rhythm became a bit more organized, but not at all strong. And on the second analysis, no shock was advised. The patient remained unconscious. Again, in this rescue, because the AED Plus conformed to the old 2000 guidelines, the rescuers did not begin compressions immediately, as the AED Plus did the second analysis and prompted for checking breathing and circulation. The yellow area on the tape shows where CPR should begin, but the rescuers were apparently not sure if they should go ahead with CPR. While they hesitated, as seconds ticked by, the victim's heart continued its struggle to start beating. Then, after 15 seconds with no compressions, the AED Plus told the rescuers again to start CPR. Finally, a few seconds later, they started chest compressions. The heart rhythm immediately got stronger. But the depth of compressions stayed below one and a half inches, so the AED told them to push harder. The compressions got deeper, but still fell short. So again, the AED Plus told them to push harder. Then the compressions went to almost two inches and the AED Plus told the rescuers good compressions. The heart rhythm continued to be stronger and more organized. Finally, the last compression was given one minute and 12 seconds after the first and only shock. The rescuers stopped compressions at this point because the victim regained consciousness and moved his head. He survived and returned to work two months later. The data from these two rescues helps to show why the new 2005 guidelines have added so much emphasis to CPR. Good CPR, combined with defibrillation, clearly contributed to the success of these real rescues. And they show the value of Zoll's real CPR help. No other AED can see exactly what rescuers are doing as they deliver chest compressions. No other AED can tell rescuers to push harder. No other AED can tell rescuers they're delivering good compressions. The new 2005 guidelines tell us that every victim needs more good CPR. And when a victim needs CPR, you need Zoll. Only Zoll provides real CPR help.